no other than Glenn Greenwald and Matt Taibibi from Rolling Stone. So um, please go and buy that fabulous book. And um, again, we are really thrilled Dave is here. And I will let him uh, say a few words as well about his wonderful book. Please come on up, Dave. Thank you, Ingrid. Uh, thanks for West LA Dem Club for having me. This is my first um, public event for a uh, chain of title. And uh, <laughs> and it's great to be among friends uh, here at the Dem Club, where I, I think I'm a member in good standing. Tra Tracy, am I? OK. I'm pretty sure. Uh, if not, we'll, we'll hook you up. Um, so uh, let's see. Uh, just various uh, technical stuff. So I'm going to be over here uh, once I, we finish up tonight. Uh, and uh, we're offering the book for uh, $25. The list price is $28 plus tax. So it is a club discount. Um, and, uh, and I'm happy to sign it or answer your questions. Uh, over there at the end, and I think after this, uh, I'll give a little discussion, and then maybe we can uh, talk about the book, and, and we'll have an interactive uh, kind of uh, uh, response. So I'm ready to go, uh, but you're going to start with something first. Okay, she's going to start with something first. I will. I just wanted to also um, make the Dems aware here that um, number one, Kara is working on a voter guide. Uh, uh, for the for our uh, uh, primary, um, also we were supposed to have some uh, judges here, but unfortunately they were called away to Pasadena. Um, in any case, uh, some said they were going to come and stop by, and so you may you know you may still meet s some of the judges that are running. Uh, this the county committee, Democratic county committee, has endorsed uh, judges, and so that will be in the voter guide. You and we will inform you of who those people are. Secondly, uh, I would like to ask who is running for county committee. Is there anyone here who's running? Fabulous! Yay! Okay, so this is Andrew and Kara. Andrew, please tell us where you where you are running. Got to make sure I'm in Kelly's video. Uh, Andrew to block 54th Assembly District, of course, would really value your vote. 54th Assembly District, five, four, uh, would really value your vote, of course. And and Kara, can you please come up? <laughs> Pardon my movie star look tonight. I just <laughs> had some uh, eye surgery this morning. Um, yeah, I'm Cara Robin. I am running for uh, re-election to the LA County Democratic Central Committee. Um, I'm number 37 on your ballot if you live in the 62nd Assembly District. That would be Autumn Burke's Assembly District. Andrew has, is very shy here, but Andrew is a wonderful activist. He was actually Betsy Butler's campaign manager. He now works for uh, the former um, Speaker of the Assembly, John Perez. He's really on his way up. He's someone we should be looking at and voting for. If you're in Sebastian Ridley Thomas's Assembly District, that's number 54. That's Andrew DeBlock. What's your number? Yeah. No, you don't know the, the number exactly. I know 37. OK, thank you very much. And um, is Alan going to come up and talk about, uh, he's done a lot of research, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, thank you, Kara. 
And of course, she is our beloved president. And so anyone who's in that district and doesn't vote for her, you know, you have a problem. <laughs> She is the best, and so is Andrew, and we really um, would love for him to, you know, move up the Democratic grassroots ladder. Um, secondly, um, speaking of the Democrats, I just wanted to um, say one thing, and, you know, I think all of us will agree, no matter what happens, after the primaries, after June 14, please, let us come together. You know, this gentleman and I, our, our buttons touched, okay? He wore the Bernie button, I had the Hillary. They kissed. The buttons kissed. And that said it all. <laughs> Bruce and I, our buttons kissed. That means we are together. We have one goal, to get rid of the yellow turnip, okay? That's what I call that guy. <laughs> Now, uh, Alan, Alan Bale, our attorney, has also done some research on the judges, and uh, I would like Alan to come up and give us his input on the judges. Thank you, Alan. I, I've done some very, very extensive research on the judges. That is, I went on a couple of websites. Uh, what, what I would whoa, let you, what would like to tell you is what judges have been endorsed as, by the LA County uh, Central Committee. Thank you. Yes, LA County Central Committee endorsed uh, what candidates are Democrats in the race, and then there are certain races where there are no Democrats. Uh, and with, regardless of that, we'll let you know what the LA County Bar has rated, how they've rated the various candidates. Uh, there's also one candidate that provided a statement that they asked to have read today. So I will be reading that as well. Uh, office number 11, uh, the two Democrats are uh, Deborah Archuleta and Paul Kim. Uh, the LA County Democratic Party uh, endorsed Deborah Archuleta. Uh, office 42, uh, there are three Democrats, apparently. Uh, Cindy Zuzga, Alyssa Molina, and E. Matthew Aceva. Uh, none of those were endorsed. And uh, the, the county bar um, rated uh, Matthew Aceves as well qualified, Alicia, Alicia um, Molina as not qualified, and uh, Commissioner Cindy Zuzga as well qualified. The, uh, the Bar Association um, ranked um, both uh, Deborah Archuleta and Paul Kim as qualified. Uh, there's, there's a candidate, uh, not a Democrat, who is rated as not qualified and another rated as well qualified. I have printouts of this, uh, a few. If anybody wants those, I can give those to you afterward. Uh, probably not the county bar evaluations, but the, the state and the uh, county in, um, party endorsements will be sent out. Right, and if any of you want, uh, I'll be signing copies of this afterwards. <laughs> I'll have a little table next to David's. Okay. Uh, the next office is, I know this is pretty darn exciting. Next office is uh, Office 84. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, let me, let me go back. It was Office 60, where there apparently is no Democrat running. Uh, the two candidates are Stefan uh, Badarassian, okay, I've, I've butchered that name, who is rated as not qualified, and the incumbent James, uh, Honorable James Cadeau, who is rated as qualified. Again, no Democrat in that race. 
uh, Office 84. Uh, the, the county ha party has endorsed Susan Young Townsend. The other Democrat listed in the race is Javier P Perez. This is Office 84. Um, Javier Perez was rated as qualified, and Susan Young Townsend was rated as qualified. O Office 158, uh, the county party endorsed Kim Nguyen. Um, the other, uh, let me double check here. Um, and the other Democrat listed is uh, Onika Valle Cole. Uh, Ms. Nguyen, who was endorsed, was rated by the County Bar Association as well qualified. Um, Onika Cole was rated as qualified. The, uh, I skipped over Office 120 because uh, there was no endorsement by the party, but the, the two candidates, apparently not Democrats, uh, Eric Busy is rated as qualified, and the Honorable Ray Santana is rated as well qualified. Um, and then finally, uh, on the offices 165, uh, the, the party endorsed Catherine Ann Solizano, who is a sitting judge. Uh, the other Democrat is Tammy Warren. The, part, uh, the LA County Bar Association rates uh, Ms. Warren is qualified and Judge um, Solorzano as well qualified. So that's the end of those endorsements. And if I may, um, I've got a statement from Susan Young Townsend, who's running for seat 84. If I could read, read that. Good evening, fellow Democrats. My name is Susan Young Townsend, criminal fraud prosecutor running for judge of the Los Angeles Superior Court in seat 84. I apologize for my inability to address you in person, but unfortunately I had committed earlier to attend an event in Pasadena. I am a career criminal trial prosecutor with 18 years experience at the LA County District Attorney's Office. Currently assigned to the Bureau of Fraud and Corruption, I prosecute prevalent crimes such as fake identities and financial theft crimes impacting consumer rights. Rated qualified by the LA County Bar Association, I have spent much of my career not only prosecuting serious crimes, but preventing them by volunteering at community outreach programs that address truancy and dropouts. I have taught constitutional law regularly at, at uh, low performance public schools to compete in county-wide mock trial tournaments as well. Born and raised in Los Angeles, I received my bachelor's degree in English from UCLA and a law degree from Loyola Law School. Yay. Uh, to date, I, I am endorsed by, I am honored by endorsements by the LA Times, LACDP, Stonewall, New Frontier, and half a dozen other chartered Democratic clubs in the county, and labor including the American Federation of Labor. I've been endorsed by over 100 judicial bench officers and would be honored to serve as your next Superior Court judge in seat 84. Thank you for your consideration of my candidacy. Uh, sincerely, Susan Young Townsend. Um, that's it. Again, if you have any questions about these, or I can provide you with uh, a printout of the county bar qualifications, uh, I've got four or five of those available. Uh, Francis. OK, I'll go through uh, once it. Let's go, I'll go through each office that they've endorsed. Okay. Okay. Okay, so Sar Carr is going to be sending that out uh, tonight or tomorrow, most likely tomorrow. And then a reminder, if you have not already, uh, please sign up on the uh, sign-in list to be added to the mailing list to receive all those fabulous announcements. Thank you. Thank you, Alan. I also wanted to ask if there's anyone running for any neighborhood councils that are here today. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, we have Mark and um, 
Michelle and Kelly Willis. Very good. Oh, that's Mar Vista Community Council. Do you want to, do you have any, anything to say? Yeah, I'll give it the mic for a moment. Hello. Uh, I'm a big D Democrat. <laughs> um, I'm originally from Syracuse, New York. I'm a Mar Vista resident since 1989. Oh, sorry. Resident from, resi Mar Vista resident since 1989. And uh, my name is Michelle. Krupkin, K-R-U-P-K-I-N. I'm a Zone 5 director. You can vote for me if you live in my zone, which is Venice, south to Washington, Sentinella, east to Sautel. And the elections are Sunday, June 5th, from 9 to 1 at the Farmer's Market, Mar Vista Farmer's Market. Thank you. Fabulous. Mark and uh, Kelly, you want to come up and s speak to everybody? So they may vote for you. Unaccustomed as I am to public speaking, uh, I'm running for vice president of the Venice Neighborhood Council. Uh, I'm not going to do a big, long political speech, but there's a lot of issues there. I have been I've been on that board for all but two terms since it was uh, conceived in. Uh, it went into business in 2000. I helped get the write the rules. I helped get it up. Uh, I helped get it through some really bad times. I have been a community officer. I'm looking to step up and replace, follow in the footsteps of our current vice president, Mark Salzberg. And um, he's done a really wonderful job of uh, uh, pushing the neighborhood uh, committee forward, which is a responsibility of the vice president. And I'd like to see what we can do. Uh, when they started the board, there were three big issues. Un uh, uh, overdevelopment, homelessness, and parking. Fifteen years later, every one of those issues is still the number one, two, or three to most people in Venice. They've all changed somewhat. There's been some progress on every one of them. And at the same time, due to the discovery of Venice by uh, people with, the, with seven or eight million dollars of disposable income, to come and buy their second and third homes, uh, the problems have only been exacerbated. Um, the, em the almost empty lot behind my house just sold, or is just one on the market three days ago for $5 million. Welcome to Venice. So with that said, our elections are June 5th. That's the Sunday before our Democratic primary. They are from 10 in the morning until 6 p.m. at Oakwood, Recreation Center, and uh, please bring some identification. If you live within Venice, bring some ID for your address. You can live, work, own, have a continuing interest. You can be 16 or older. You can be a junior or senior in the high school, and come on down and vote. It's, uh, you don't even have to be an American citizen. You just have to live, work, own, or have a continuing interest in Venice. There you go. Thank you. So I'm running for uh, at-large community officer this time. Uh, you have to, as Kelly said, if you want to vote for me, you have to live in Venice, you have to work in Venice, or you have to own property in Venice. Um, I'm a little bit concerned because I have 46 opponents. Names are in random order. I'm number 32. If somebody wants to vote for me, I have no idea how they're going to find my name. <laughs> so uh, please come on out if you live in Venice and uh, vote for us. Uh, I have flyers and uh, uh, stuff on the web, and I'll be glad to share it with you, but I'd rather listen to Dave. Thank you so much, Mark. And now, without further ado, Dave Dayen, our very own writer, author, journalist. Yay! Thank 